guys! Welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Lucky A.K.E. And I am back. And as for my old subscribers, as usual, I will always give them this. And if you are new here, you are welcome. And please feel free to click on the subscribe button to join the family. So guys, today I'm going to be taking you with me to the monastery. It is a place that has been here for years, guys. I'm sure so many people, especially from this great land north, so... It was an honor for me to like do a video a vlog about it, showing people so people can rebuild your memories. I also did a video where I went to the Abbey Resort here in Bengu. It's a very beautiful place with a waterfall, a natural site. So if you come to Bengu, you definitely have to visit that site. <coughs> excuse me the link to that video will also be in the description box below and guys if you are enjoying this hairstyle i'm having the link to that video will also be in the description box below i'm currently i'm putting on this cute nice traditional outfit so it's an outfit that is mostly worn by those of this great northwest region in Cameroon. so guys i don't want to waste so much of your time eh? so let's get right into the video so before we get into Our Lady of Bamenda Abbey, the Cistercian Monastery of Mbengui, I'm sure most of us would like to know what a monastery is. So a monastery is simply a building or complex of buildings comprising the domestic quarters and workplaces of monastic monks or nuns, whether living in communities or alone and most importantly living under a religious vow so the monastery generally includes a place reserved for prayer which may be a chapel church or temple and may also serve as an oratory or in the case of communities anything from a single building housing only one senior and two or three junior monks or nuns to vast complexes and is this housing tens or hundreds So this is the monastery junction and the main road leading into the monastery building. So from the junction, you get into this part and on my left, we have the road leading towards Kabunyang and Baumi. <laughs> And as we are going, I hope you all are enjoying the beautiful view of the monastery. And on this fateful day, I bumped into one of the oldest monks, brother Anthony. He didn't see me doing this. I'm sure I'm finished because he hates pictures so much. <laughs> So doing this video on a Sunday day, I was caught up with time as such, I was late for mass, I had to use the shortcut into the monastery. I'm sure so many of you had used this 
route to get into the monastery. <laughs> so we had to cross on the local bridge just to get to mass on time. So this fence was recently built and as you walk across the gate you get into the guest house where you can come for a moment of silence, a moment of reflection for a retreat and so on. <laughs> So after seeing the guest master, this is one of the doors leading into the guest house and these are some of the rooms of the guest house and as beautiful as it is made, it has its own private chapel for guests where you can come for a moment of a reflection, moment of silence, prayers, anything personal and here is brother peter one of the brothers of the cistercian monastery here in Mbengui. so here is the guest follow so if you come here and you're waiting for a more so you can as well sit here and just be chilling while you're waiting for your brother to come and visit you. So let's get to the other section. And there goes the beautiful chapel where the monks go in for prayers daily and every Sunday after the tears prayers Sunday Mass begins and as we are watching and going and if you are enjoying the video guys please don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up Comment down below on your thoughts so far and also make sure to subscribe to the channel to support your girl. So guys, I came in contact with one of the brothers of the monastery of Our Lady of Bamenda Abbey Cistercian Monastery. So let's hear from the brother. Yes, uh, we are monks and we belong to the Catholic Church. You know, we are monks and we spend our lives all here. So uh, we live a life of prayer. We work, you know, and. Uh, you know, we study, so that is what our, our life is. And, uh, we are a place where, you know, people come, you know, when they have some, when they are fed up with life in the city, you know, they come here to retreat, you know, and to have some kind of quiet moments and to reflect and to, and to refurbish themselves and to strengthen themselves and then to go back to the society to be able to, 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 to work. So, 
you know we don't uh, we don't go out to evangelize or to do other things that one is left to to the active others of the of the of, of the church we are like the contemplative uh, a branch of the church where you know we we are all always the rule by the rule of enclosure so but at least with our society now you know we are able to go out also to get certain things that we need we, you know we go to hospitals you know so so and so forth so so, so those are the things where we spend our life praying for for the church and for the world all right thank you so much for that wonderful talk brother we really appreciate and we'll keep on coming here if we are in any distress or need to go near that here we can find peace and love so guys let's go to other areas of the monastery So the brothers are also superb in making their own palm oil. So this is a section where all that is done. And here is the store and the consultation room. Unfortunately, the place is locked. At this hours, they're either getting their rest or one thing or the other. So if you're sick or you need any medical attention or to consult, here you can come if you need to buy something. It's on this other section. This section was always called the block shed in terms of any building construction going on. So this way they mow their block and uh, preserve it. So that is the, that is the mechanical shop or what to <laughs> And this is the Section meant for dogs. Hmm. Branyeka. Ah, I bro. Now you is not place is one. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Scary dog. You want to bite me? Section is where they make the candles. Huh, let's see why they work, eh? And that is the carpentry workshop. Bram, small, eh? No, yeah, you're, you're not like that, I know. Uh, if you, you know, no, 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 I so here is the dairy where the yogurt, the cheese, and all light is produced. Man, yo. Coco. Wonderful. So this is the dairy. Guys, I won't take too much time here. And this is the madam on duty. <laughs> Hi. At the dairy, the yogurt production center, the what, cheese. Guys, I'm sure you will not believe, but I had worked here before for about seven months. I worked in the dairy, so I have a little bit of idea on how the yogurt is being made. So it's a very simple procedure just get the natural milk from the cow and then your sugar and the uh, yog and culture. <laughs> I will go into a detailed explanation of how all that is done. This is not a video for that. Mm? So what next? Let me be drinking some now and then before we get into the herbal department. Gardening. Uh -uh. Wow. But as Stephen is not really doing bad eh, because he's the one heading this garden section. Carrots, vegetables, okra, garden egg, 
leeks, cabbage. Wow, and guys, over there is the cow shed. So that is where um, they are. I don't really you know. I haven't walked there before, so I don't really have a clue what you know, what is going on in the cow shed. But that is where the cows are always reserved. That is the herbal department where all the medicines comes from. I don't know if they allow me have access into the building. Hmm. Mom, Asha. Wow, so this is the herbal department. It really looks like the herbal department. <laughs> I'm fine, Mama. And guys, we've come to the end of the video, and thank you so so much for watching till the end. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up, comment down below on your thoughts of the monastery, and also do make sure to subscribe.